Divas. So I received some clip-ins from Sassina Hair and I got the Silky Straight Clip-In Hair Extensions in the color number two. I got one pack of 18 inch and another pack of 20 inch. But in this video, I believe I am only using the 18 inch pack of hair. But this is what it looks like fresh out of the package. The hair looks nice. It doesn't look like it'll blend well with my texture and color, but you know what, we'll make it work for this hairstyle. Also in the box comes a comb, a wide tooth comb, some lashes, and extra clips in case you wanna add more to the clip-ins. And this is what the hair looks like fresh out of the package. And it comes with a series of clip-ins. Again, the first set I believe had um, let's see, one, two, three, three clips. <laughs> and the next series of clip-ins came with two clip-ins. And then I had one with four clip-ins. And then the last one had only one clip-in on the weft. I normally wear this hairstyle when I am, you know, working out and my hair, you know, sweats out and stuff and I don't get to really wear my hair in a hairstyle per se because of my high activity levels as of lately. So I wanted to go ahead and just add some clip-ins just to make it look a lot better and more polished. So next, I'm going to go ahead and comb out my hair with the wide tooth comb that came in the package. I'm just going to detangle throughout. And then from there, I'm going to kind of just part my hair however I need to. I don't really have a method for this, except for I don't want my wefts to show when it's in this hairstyle. So I tend to go towards the middle section of my hair since it is quite thick in the middle. And I'm just making a line to where I can add some of those clip-ins. And the parting doesn't have to be perfect, just part it and then go ahead and section your hair off and then add the clip-ins. For those wondering, I used the clips that had four clips and then I used the clips that had three clips and I believe that is all that I used for this style. To get my edges so sleek, I use this Shine Jam, and I am new to using this, but I love it. It works for my edges. I will say it's kind of thick, so if you have hair that doesn't like to um, use gel, like my hair doesn't lay down with gel, but it lays down perfectly with this Shine Jam, so I'm here for it. So I'm gonna smooth it out, and then I'm going to begin my braid. If your hair is anything like mine, this product will definitely work well for you. And I really love how it gave my hair some shine and it made my braid look even more polished. Now, I'm not the best braider in the world, but I can, you know, do, you know, two braids. So <laughs> if you guys want a tutorial on this, I can do one. Um, I don't want to say it's basic because it's not. Um, I didn't always know how to French braid. So if you want a tutorial on how to braid and you want it real in depth then I can definitely do one for you just leave a comment in the comment section below now I don't know if you noticed but I braided from all the way from the top to the bottom I did not carry my braid around I do that because I'm not the best of braider but I'm gonna go ahead and add some shine jam to the other side and apply it to my edges and braid on that side as well I do have a simple trick that I do and it's basically not braiding around the crown or perimeter of my hair. I find it that it doesn't look as neat when I do it that way. Now if you are going for a style that looks less um, controlled and more free flowing then definitely braid around the crown. Based upon the style that I'm going for, that I'm wanting to achieve, I want it to mimic or be similar to just like how feed in braids are. They're very precise, very clean cut. And so that is the look that I'm trying to achieve with this. It's kind of a part of that family per se, you know? So here I am braiding to the bottom of the strand. I did not take the entire ponytail. I only took a portion of the braid. That way it's easier for me to braid and to maintain the same size of braid. And I'm just gonna uh, comb down the hair in the middle and form a ponytail. Now I brought the ponytail to the right side of my head just to give it a more swooping action and I added some shine jam to the bottom nape of my hair as well to make it look more clean cut. Once you get your hair exactly how you want it, go ahead and use an ouchless band or a rubber band, whatever you want to do, smooth your hair down and make your ponytail. 
I'm going to use this curl wand and just curl my hair throughout to give it more of a wispy curl type of thing. I didn't want to just have a straight ponytail, I wanted the hairstyle to have some kind of dimension. Feel free to curl the hair however you like. You can also braid the hair and dip it in water and have a crinkly effect as well. It is all up to you. And this is just a simple hairstyle. It's super cute, very easy to do. And yeah, girl, I love it. It looks like you put so much time and effort into it, but it is so easy. And I hope you guys like this style. Feel free to wrap your ponytail around if you want to do a cute little updo as well. You have so many choices, so many options. So do not box yourself in. Do not limit yourself. Feel free to add some decorative pieces to your hair. You can also add some gold string and intertwine it throughout the braid just to give it some more dimension. But you know the options are endless. I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy hairstyle. Thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel and I cannot wait to see you in my next upload. XOXO.